This video is going to explain how to start building our depropanizer equipment, which is 01-V-101. And the draw you can find the drawing for the vertical vessel on page 205 in our books. It as you'll notice, the vertical vessel is sitting on a slab which is one foot tall, so the bottom of the vertical vessel is at 101 foot zero. You may want to jot down some elevations on here to make it easier for you uh, by using starting at 101 feet for the bottom of the depropanizer and then using the dimensions go ahead and fill in those dimensions. It'll be easier and uh, easier down the road. Okay so the first thing we want to do is make sure that we're in the right module which is up here equipment. We're going to build equipment so we want to be in that module and the reason we do that is that a lot of these things up here change depending on what your which module you're in. So after we do that we uh, you need to make sure by this time you should have your site built already which in my case it's got my name in front of it but just ignore that. Yours should be unit 01 you should probably also have your zone set up. Uh, you're going to need the equipment zone because that's where we're going to build our piece of equipment in. Okay, so the very first thing is to uh, name it. And we're going to come up here and say create equipment. And we're going to give it a name just like it's got it in the book, which is 0-V-101. And I'm going to go ahead and leave these at 0. This is all fine. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see it's added a new equipment in our hierarchy. So we're going to use primitives to build this. And looking at our drawing, you can see that the vessel is made up of different pieces of uh, different primitives. The main body is going to be one cylinder, or silly for short. The vessel skirt will be a, another cylinder, and then we'll have two dishes, which are the top of the vessel head and then the bottom of the vessel head. So the first thing I'm going to do is the skirt. And uh, Okay, well before that I want to show you all something, and I'm going to say sitting at equipment 01 and our command line, I'm going to just type in pin 1 at CE. And it throws in a pin 1 for us. And I'm also going to say Q pause of pin 1. And you can see our pin 1 is exactly 000, 000 in the world. Okay. And all right, so the first thing we're going to do is create, start creating primitives for that. So I'm going to say new, silly, and the skirt, as you can see in your book, is five feet tall. And the diameter of the vessel is four foot zero. So um, in your case, you're going to say new, silly, height, and you're going to say five feet, uh, the height is five foot. And diameter is uh, four feet. Okay, this is what you're going to type in, but since my setup is in millimeters, you have to excuse me. I have to um, put in some different numbers. My diameter is. Okay, so there's our uh, skirt, and if we change our view to north, and if we use F8, we're going to get into wireframe instead of solid. 
F8 is a toggle from wireframe to solid. Okay, so you can see that pin 1 is right in the center of our cylinder of the skirt. Okay, the pin 1 represents the origin of this piece of equipment. So, which again is it? Uh, zero, zero, zero to the world. Okay, but in my case, in our case, we want the origin of the piece of equipment to be at the bottom of the cylinder. So, I'm going to take this cylinder. Again, I'm sitting on the cylinder. Okay, I'm not on the equipment level. I'm on the cylinder level. And I want the bottom of the cylinder to be at P1, which will be 0, 0, 0. So half of the cylinder height is uh, 5 feet. Or, or the whole the top of it is 5 feet, the length of it is 5 feet, so half of it is 2 foot 6. So you're going to say buy up 2 foot 6. This is what you're going to type in. And in my case, I'm going to do 762. Okay, and if we zoom in, pin 1 which is the origin of our piece of equipment is the bottom of our skirt which is exactly what we want and we can also say um, Q pause of P1 I'm sorry uh, pause of P2 which again is zero zero zero. Okay, if you refer to your primitive sheets that are on the blackboard, you'll remember that a primitive has three P points. P one is at the top, P two is at the bottom, and P zero is in the center. Okay, so our P two is exactly at zero zero zero, which is exactly what we want. So again I'm gonna look uh, north. So I'm straight on to the to the cylinder. Okay, another thing you want to do is name the cylinder uh, by just saying skirt because you may want to find it fast at some point in the future and you're going to be, we're going to have a few cylinders in here, <coughs> excuse me, so uh, you'll be able to find it faster. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to do the next cylinder which is going to represent the main body of the vessel. So our height, your height is going to be 36 feet. Mine is 107.8 millimeters and the diameter is correct. Okay, so every time we bring in a new primitive, a new nozzle or whatever, it's always going to center it on this cylinder. I mean, I'm sorry, it's always going to center it on the origin of our equipment. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the easiest way to raise this cylinder is by typing uh, connect P2 to P1 of ID at. Okay, so we're telling it to connect P2 of our cylinder, 2, to P1, which is the top of this, of this one, and by saying of ID at, I'm going to be able to select our skirt cylinder. Okay, so it's done exactly what we want, and I'm going to go ahead and also name this uh, body. For our vessel body. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is add a dish, a, a elliptical head, one for the top and one for the bottom. So I'm going to type in new dish and my height. Your height will be 12 inches, mine is 305, and the diameter is also four feet minus in millimeters. Okay, so again, it always puts it at the origin of the piece of equipment. So it's very easy to move that. 
again using the same command and I can double click on any of these lines up here and it brings it down to the bottom and then I just hit enter and click on my bo body silly and it connects it right to the top which is exactly where we want it I <clears throat> uh, need another one exactly like that so I'm gonna say new dish copy previous and I'm going to say connect P2 in this case it's P2 of ID at so it automatically flips it around for us uh, just like we need it uh, and if you want we can hit F8 so we can see it in solid view but it's easier when you're building it to be in uh, wire view okay so we've got our main body already set up we're gonna go ahead and start on a nozzle okay so I'm gonna make sure that I'm at the equipment level and I'm gonna say create a nozzle and let's start with N1. No, let's start with N2, which is the depropanizer return. So I'm going to go ahead and name this. Um, I'm going to put my vessel name in here. Dash N2 is the first one we're working on. I hit enter. Now here we're uh, we're going to check the type. It's 150 pound. Is that correct? We can check if that's correct by looking at our nozzle schedule. All our nozzles are 300 pound, so that is incorrect. I'm going to click 300. My bore size is N2 is 12 inch, so you're going to want to click 12 inch, and I am going to click 300 millimeters. Okay, I'm going to hit apply and dismiss this window. And I'm going to give it a height. The height is the length of the nozzle. The, the, the length of the nozzle, which in our case is going to be the projection of N2, which again is on your nozzle schedule. Our projection is 2 foot 8 inches. So you're going to put in two foot eight there and I'm going to do 812.8 okay and this is pretty uh, critical our orientation of P1 that is what direction your nozzle you want your nozzle to face um, north let's see by looking at our vessel drawing we know that N2 face west so I'm going to go ahead put in a W here and I'm going to hit apply and dismiss this okay you can see again it puts our nozzle in at our origin which in our case is down here at the bottom and when I work with nozzles I like to usually look down in plan view I'm going to zoom in a little closer okay remember that north I'm going to turn on our axis north is straight ahead so west is um, west is to the left so our nozzle is facing the correct way the nozzles always come in with their P1 which is the face of the nozzle at the origin again at the origin of the vessel so it's very simple to get it where we need it to be and that's gonna be by west 812.8 and in your case you're gonna say by west 2 foot 8 okay so now our nozzle is uh, orientated correctly but if we look north I'm sorry if we look north remember that it came in down at the bottom of our uh, that came in at the origin of the vessel which is zero 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 so we know by looking at our drawing and I've already calculated my elevations that N2 is at a hundred foot 13 feet 
So if I'm at zero, I need 13 feet. I need to go up by up 3962.4. And you're going to put by up 13 feet. Hit enter. And it has uh, moved our nozzle exactly where we want it. If you put on solid view, you can see it. It's starting to take shape and it's looking pretty good. Okay, you may want to check uh, check the position. Uh, by say Q pause of P1 and it tells us our north we haven't moved off north our west we've moved it that should be two foot six in your case because of the nozzle projection and our elevation yours should say 13 feet right here instead of uh, uh, millimeters okay so you want to check that to make sure that you've got it in the right spot all right so let's go ahead and do second nozzle and let's look down in plan view okay I want to make sure I'm at the equipment level which is going to own that nozzle and let's do let's see we did N2 let's do N3 which if we look on our vessel drawing N3 should face south Okay, so again, we're going to say create a nozzle. We're going to give it a name. We're going to use the same name as we did over here. Dash V dash 101 dash N3. Okay, let's check the type. 300 pound is good. Our bore, what is N3? N3 is 8 inches. So y'all are going to pick 8 inches, and I'm going to pick 203, and click Apply, and then dismiss that window. Uh, our height, again, is our nozzle projection for N3, is 2 foot 8, just like the other one. So you guys are going to put two foot eight in there. I'm going to do millimeters. Okay, to save a step, we, we uh, can change the up dimension here. So N3 is 24 feet up. So you all will put a 24 in there. And I'm going to do 731. 5.2. Okay, again, you guys will put 23 feet in there. Now this orientation is N3 is south. Hit apply. Gonna dismiss this window. Again, it always puts in your nozzles with the P1 at the origin, so that's very simple. We're going to say by south. Uh, actually, I'm just going to double click this and change that to an S. In your case, you're going to say by south two foot eight. Okay, let's do F8 so we can see it in solid, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, so you've got the first two nozzles in there. Uh, I'm going to let you guys do the rest on your own. Uh, 